We moved here in 04 from Oklahoma City, and then in 08, Ben was diagnosed with lung cancer, and that turns your entire world upside down. It was very difficult, and I tried to be strong, but it's very hard when you're going through something like this. I did a lot of praying, talking to God, and I didn't worry about it. And sure enough, things turned out all right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> On my first day coming to tour Broken Era Seniors, I was looking for activities for Ben. He had reached a low point where I felt if we didn't get some type of additional activities for him, he was going to end up in a wheelchair. I uh, had got so weak from the uh, cancer treatment that I was taking and uh, I heard that they had the Tai Chi program here, which will give you light activity and build your body back up, and it certainly has for me. It's uh, done wonders for my back. It got better for me enough to mow my lawn, and that really uh, put the get up and go in me, and I owe it all to Tai Chi. It gives you a sense of purpose. When you get up in the morning, you have a place to go. You have friends to visit with. You have someone to talk with that relates to what you're going through at this age in life. Altogether, it's just been wonderful. <laughs> More than I can describe. I worked out at the Port of Catoosa at the shipping receiving of heavy coil, metal coils, and ended up having a heart attack on the job and had a six bypass open heart surgery. And they found out that I have sleep apnea, high blood pressure, diabetes, you know, it just, the list just goes, keeps going on. And I'm disabled now. Yeah. We came to Owasso Community Service and they led us to a whole spectrum of help that a lot of people don't ever even consider, you know. It's just nice to know that the community has somewhere to go that you can get help from. When I realized that I needed uh, more money, that I wasn't going to make enough at fast food, I decided to start looking for a job. So I started applying for different places, Macy being one of them, because I knew that they were building a huge warehouse. Went online and they helped me here with the computers and resumes and kept praying and they answered my prayers. And so I'm going to start Monday. We'll have some money to do the things that we've needed to do and to grow old with. And it's a life changing yeah, it'll ordeal. Yeah, it's life changing come a long ways. She's worked her little heart out, putting up with me especially. <laughs> I grew up uh, with my uncle and he, he taught me the trade of shoeing horses, breaking them, training them. And I, I started rodeoing at the age of 12. I didn't realize until I got up in age how bad I really was beat up doing that, that career. At that point um, in life, I really never thought about being homeless. And it just happened at the blink of your eye. And um, I dealt with it, I dealt with it. I got with a family and children's service and started seeing the doctor. The doc diagnosed me with schizophrenia. And, um, I never thought that I would have it, but I had got to that point, low point, that I started seeing it. And I decided to do something about it. Mental Health Association got me affiliated with one of their staff members. And that was the first beginning of my really healing of my mental illnesses. It's wonderful. It gave me another chance at life. You know, I wanted to go to school, so now I'm in school. I'll be graduating. 
this year in July, I'll be having my associates in, in criminal justice. And it's awesome. Thank you for living united. Thank you. Thank you for living united. Thank you. Thank you for living united.